Hey everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Tucker. And Tucker is going to um, get his first grooming. We've already done the face and uh, the feet and the ears already in the first session. Um, so he's a little bit nervous, but he's a little puppy too. So he's a little bit squirmish on me. So I just wanted to show you um, the techniques I use to hold a, a puppy when getting groomed. Um, so this will be the first time using clippers on him. As you can see, he's going to change some colors on us. So right now he's predominantly black, but underneath his coat, there's some silver or some dark gray. Um, so we're going to see what that comes out like. So he's um, just had his bath. So um, he's still a little bit damp. <laughs> he likes to crawl on my lap here. I'm just sitting down this time. Um, so we're going to just show you um, how to um, groom a puppy for the first time with clippers. So right now I'm going to hold on to his back of his jawline there. And it's just kind of kind of behind his ears on his jaw. So it's going to hold him so when he does move back, um, he won't be able to move too much further away from me. Um, because he's probably going to get a little squirmish here on me. So, But you never want to put any pressure on their throats. And uh, so this way he can still move around, but I can still have control over him. So, and then if he does become quite a bit more jumpy, I'm just going to put my head on, hand on here. And so he's going to kind of move around quite a bit on us, and uh, but he won't be able to actually move anywhere. So I just kind of hold on until he kind of tires out. And then I continue with the clippers when I can. And eventually he will calm down. So it's just until we get that first clip in, that he will be a little bit resistant because he doesn't know what's going on. And again, I'm not putting any pressure on the throat because I do not want to um, hurt him. And this is quite typical of all little puppies because they don't know what's going on. It's quite noisy. <laughs> it's okay. Got a little bit of matting around the neck. So we're doing a number five. As you can see, he's got some beautiful coloring underneath. So he's going to be a completely different colored dog when they come pick him up. So now I'm going to hold him from the back of the head here. Again, same thing. Just to keep him still for me. But still let him go move around. Like I said, this is quite common for puppies. Because eventually, I won't have to hold on there at all. He'll just kind of stay. And we're going to try that out now. So now I'm just going to work underneath and hold him up. And you can see the, the black fur on the silver. So it's quite, quite neat how they do change color on us. And I'll do half his body here. But it gives you an idea of just the resistance the puppies have at the beginning. Because of course it is scary. But they will calm down and um, as he continues to come to be groomed, he will get better and better. quite nice. This is nervous. It's scary at the beginning because there's a whole bunch of new noises for them. Okay. And I've been doing this for a few years as well, so I'm just over 15 years of grooming. So, and I've never used restraint, so I've always had to figure out how to work with the dog to uh, have them have their comfort level so that we can still continue to groom, but I would never use a restraint on them. He's still going to have a little bit of black tips, maybe, on his head we might be able to salvage this time, but probably he'll lose the majority of that black and we won't um, 
have any left, but um, as he grows out, actually the black will kind of come back again at the tips. It's, it changes color as it grows out, which is weird. You think it would start at the base, but it actually, um, I don't know how the sun changes it or something, but he actually will usually get those black tips will come back as he grows out. And it'll be similar to what it was just now, where the end of it will be black and then underneath will be a lighter color. So you always get a dual colored dog when you get a Yorkie. Okay. And like I said, I've already done the feet. And again, I'm not putting any pressure on the throat area. I'm just putting it at the top, at the end of his muzzle there. So I can lift him up. Yay! Hold on, buddy. Okay. So now I'll just trim the top of his head here. Let's see if we can keep any of that black or if it has to go. I'll try just to keep the tips and it'll look like he had uh, his tips dyed. <laughs> Keeps just a little bit on the end there. Keeps a little fluff. I just wanted to show you kind of a half cut look on him. When trimming around the ears, you're making sure you use your thumb as a guide so you know where the end of the skin is. So you're not going to cut too far into there. And sometimes when you lighten the ears on a Yorkie, they may actually stand up. So. He's still quite young. He's four months right now. We've got a little bit of black that stayed there. All right, so there is our little puppy cut. You can kind of see his nice new color. I'm still a little nervous, but I'll keep going um, on him here. Gives you the half look. And there we go. So around the bum area, so I'll use the comb um, to comb out the tail. See if there's any mats, which there are a few. Hold on. So we'll kind of just take a little bit down around the bum area. But we don't want to go too far down the tail because we want to keep the tail. He's resting his head on me. He's trying to lay down. <laughs> so funny. Because they do get tired on us, so he's trying to relax a little bit. Okay, so under here, so I was using a number five. So I will now use um, a number seven. So it's going to go a little bit shorter. And I go down from the top of the tail, just a little bit up, because this sometimes if it grows, it grows, and then it kind of covers the bum, and then that kind of gets a little dirty if the if the poop is a little bit runnier, or it might stick to it. So it just gives it less stuff to stick to. Okay. And I'll come in from the inside here. No, 
always got to be aware of any skin because when you do pull the fur up, some of that skin can be loose as well. And then um, around um, this peter there, it can get a little bit matted. And we'll turn this. So you can kind of see in there, it's kind of got some fur hanging down, but I'll use a number 10 in there to really get close around that area and kind of take some of that fur out of there. So then that'll leave it nice and clean um, for when he is going to the bathroom um, and nothing kind of will stick to it. Oh, it's still right there. there we go. So there we go. So I'm just, like I said, just showing you the half. So there you go. You can kind of see his body, how nice and clean it is um, on that side. And then uh, just the change in color as well from a nice, uh, comes in a little bit black and then has that nice silver underneath. So I hope you enjoyed this video on just how to give a puppy um, his first groom on uh, on the clippers and how nervous they start out um, but they will relax um, as time moves on and the next groom will be even better um, but of course they're just not sure of all the noises and exactly what you're doing so you just got to go in and give them a little bit more time to adjust to what you're doing um, and they will get better and better so thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos on how I groom dogs um, without any restraints and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.